Hey, Crazy Billy here today. Today we're going to be talking about how to remove the hard drive from one of these enclosures by Western Digital. The easy stores. We're going to remove the hard drive. Stay tuned. I'm going to show you how. Hey, Crazy Will from Crazy Will's Deck Show. Today, I'm going to show you how to get the hard drive out of these internal enclosures. Now, you might be asking yourself, well, why do I want to know how to do that? Well, Real easy guys, it's a lot cheaper to buy one of these external hard drives than it is to buy internal hard drives. Plus, there's a rumor that there is a red hard drive in these drives. Basically, at the time of shooting this is like a $250 drive for an eight terabyte and this was only 129. So by chucking this, you're saving quite a bit of money. I don't think mine was a red. It had a white label, but supposedly there are red drives in this. Before we get started, you're doing this at your own risk. If you buy one of these, and you mess it up, it is not my fault, guys. No, no, not taking responsibility. You're doing this at your own risk and you are voiding the warranty by doing this. So it's a chance you're gonna have to take if you want to. First of all, guys, I'm gonna apologize. I went to the dentist this morning, so if I'm talking a little funny today, that's probably because half my face is numb. It is finally starting to come back a little bit, but if I seem to spit a little bit or talk funny, that is why. This is also the video launch of the Friday Before Christmas so I want to say Merry Christmas to those who celebrate Christmas. Happy Hanukkah to those people that celebrate that and Happy Kwanzaa or any other holiday that is falling near this or around this time. No denomination here. I am in red for Christmas. Merry Christmas to everybody. I didn't decorate or put a tree back there. That probably would have been something smart to do do. Lazy. So back to the hard drive, guys. This is the hard drive. A, a, the external hard drive. We have an external hard drive here. And like I said, the rumor has it there's a red drive. Unfortunately, in mine, it was a white drive, which I heard is still a red drive. It's a better hard drive. You can use it for NAS. Or maybe you have one of these. It's an older one and the hard drive crapped out and you want to switch out the hard drive. Whatever the case is, if you want to get into this box, I'm going to show you how to do that today. And as you can see, there's no screws anywhere. So, you know, how do you get into this thing? Let's go over to the workbench. I'm going to show you how. All right, so here we are with the external hard drive. We're gonna take this out of the way, that's the box. Here's the actual unit. That's what it's gonna look like when you get it. It has that plastic on it. You leave that plastic on there just so you don't scratch it up. And this is the back of it. And I actually put little tape tabs because I've already done this and it's already in my NAS server. But I put little tape places on this so you guys could see where the power piece is and actually where the clips are. So there's there's no other way to, to get to the hard drive without engaging the clips. Now the tools you're gonna need. I like one of these plastic little pry tools and a bunch of these type of guitar clips kind of things. I would use these and it's just they're nice plastic and they just kind of wedge in there. So that's what we're gonna do. If you don't have this stuff you can cut up an old credit card and that worked as well. I actually did try that in the beginning and then I remembered I have these pieces. So what we're gonna do is right where I have the tape pieces are actually where you're going to slide in one of these picks to try and get in. And I'm gonna show you the whole process here. I'm gonna go right here. So I'm gonna leave that one there. I'll put this one right here. Okay, try and get this one right here. This one in there, okay. And then once you get those in place, like I do, I'm gonna take the pry tool and we're gonna try and pry right in the front here. And you see how it's kind of sliding already? So that's what we're gonna go for. And that's, we'll do it on that side. Now we'll flip it over and we'll go on this side and we'll pry into it. And you can see your picks are going to fall out. That's fine. The clips have already been released. When we get to a certain point, you can actually start pulling. You'll see you have the grips there. So I'm going to actually use this more. Let's go around to the other side here. All right, so we have a big lip now. And we can kind of use this to detach anything else. I'm going to pull. It's not as easy. Push a little bit. Kind of manhandle a little bit. All right, so now we got a lip here. You guys want to see, we got a lip there. What we're going to do is we're going to try and pull up, right out. There you go. And so you can see, just so you guys can see what you're going for, right here. 
that's one of the clips. What we're doing is we're pushing that back, and that's just the clips, just to give you guys an idea. I'll try and show you a little bit more. It's black, so it's hard. So you can see where the clips were, and you know, they're adjacent to each other. So that's how that works. That's off now. Put that off to the side. Now you have the hard drive. I did replace the hard drive. I put my old hard drive in here so I could show you guys. I just put it all back together. I'll show you how to actually take the hard drive out of this. It's pretty straightforward, but I'm gonna show it anyway. I'm just gonna take a regular Phillips screwdriver. And we're gonna go ahead and unscrew this right here. Take that out and take this little plastic nubby thing out too, this on this. This is your actual indicator. It's just kind of working like a fiber optic light thing. So we'll just take that out. Should be able just to slide the hard drive up. If you look right here, there's a nub there, there's a nub there, and it's just a rubber holder. So pull it out like so, and it should pull right out like that. And then this piece, we already took the screw out of it, should just, out right there now you can leave the screw in there before you do this but it just clips in at the bottom if you guys can see that it's just it's an actual connector right there and you just pull that out and be gentle you don't want to ruin this and then that's your hard drive and now we just unscrew these on the sides you just unscrew these at the sides I'm not going to show you all these these are just the rubber stoppers you can take that off and then your hard drive is free so you can take those rubber stoppers off we'll take them off a lot of them can just twist off believe it or not And there you go, your hard drive is free. All right, so this was the actual hard drive that was in this actual casing, the Western Digital. I was told that it was red label server type of hard drive. I got the white label, I heard that they changed it to the white label, but they say that's the higher end drive. And it's an eight terabyte, and I, I put little labels. This is actually the one from my server, and I wanted to show you, there is a little bit of a trick to actually using this hard drive. And I'm going to show you, I'm gonna zoom in on the actual tips of this hard drive the actual connectors to the hard drive because there is a little trick that makes this actually work in a computer okay so with this upside down you probably already noticed there's a little piece of gaffet tape right there that right there I believe it was a it's a power type of connector that makes the hard drive turn on or off and it's the only way it will work actually with this piece right here that is connected to the drive in order to make this a regular drive you have to get rid of that extra tab so coming from this side it is one two and it is the third one in and I put a little piece of tape I'm not gonna take it off because it was a pain in the bust to get it on there but you can ultimately cut that out with a razor blade and you know get rid of the connection I didn't I, I opted not to do that I just put a little piece of tape on it a special electrical tape for electronics that I put over it it stops the connection and this runs as a regular hard drive if you do not do this this drive will not work it's basically useless it's like their last defense for actually you know making it so you can't use it as a hard drive I took it out of the case put some tape over it and it works great and and my NAS server. So that is a little tip on how to do that. Now you could take an X-Acto blade and go ahead and cut that little piece out. I'm not really sure what I'm gonna be doing in the future, so I am not going to do that. But that is the little piece, just so you guys can see it. I zoomed in a little bit more, and you can see that's the one with the tape over it right there. So it's the third one in there coming from this side of the hard drive. So one pad, two pad, and then the one that's super yellow with that tape over it. And that is actually what's running on my NAS server right now. I'm backing up all my YouTube videos and other personal stuff, Odo's, all kinds of different things that I may need. Still numb. I can kind of feel that. It's coming back. It's coming back. Had to get a scaling. Had to get a scaling. Anyway, that's how you take it apart, guys. The two pieces right there. Now, just to let you guys know, like I said, you're doing this at your own risk, but this piece by itself, you can actually hook a hard drive to and it will still run. You just have to add power and the connection and you can actually still use this as an external hard drive or you can actually put it all back together and put the enclosure. I've actually used this with the laptop drives and SSDs. I've tried it with several of them. So full size, laptop size and SSDs. You can just connect this up to it and you can use this as an external or if you want to just use it as a way to test drives to your computer you could do that too just be careful do not electrocute yourself again i'm not responsible as always if you have any questions please leave them down below i will try my best to get back to you that's it for me guys make sure you like and subscribe if this helped you in any way and remember you could do anything 
if you put your mind to it, later guys! You can still use it as an external hard drive reader. As you can see, that's the name of the hard drive that's hooked up there. That's my TVM movies. And it is hooked up right there, right to my computer. So you can still use it as an external drive. You can even put it back in the case. You're still here? You haven't clicked on all these videos that I made? Or better yet, like button? Or even better, subscribe button? Just put, putting it out there.